Hello everybody and welcome back for another toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature as well as other safety related videos and leadership training videos. My notes, my show notes will be in the description below. If you decide to use this video for training with your team, make sure that you document the training through a sign-in sheet referencing this video. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Today's toolbox safety topic video is on electrical hazards and grounding safety. Now electricity provides energy to run all the electrical components we need on a construction site. Power tools, machines, lighting, and some equipment. Electricity can also create hazards when an electrical system is not grounded properly. If a person's body mistakenly becomes part of an electric circuit, an electric shock results that could result or cause severe injuries and death. To minimize electrical hazards, you need to consider the equipment you are using, its installation, the protective measures in place, your work environment, and work practices. First, let's talk about equipment and installation. One of the most common OSHA electrical violations is improper grounding of equipment and circuitry. You need to recognize that an improperly grounded electrical system is a hazard. When using portable electric tools, make sure they are double insulated or equipped with a three-prong plug that can plug into a properly grounded three-wire receptacle. Inspect all electrical equipment before each use and look for defects, cracks, fraying, and wear on the case and power cord. Report defective electric tools and equipment to your supervisor immediately. Protective measures. A ground fault circuit interrupter, also known as a GFCI, is an electrical device used to make sure you're protected from ground faults. Simply put, it can be an inexpensive lifesaver. It's important to plug tools and equipment into an electrical receptacle that is protected by a GFCI. It monitors the current between the two wires in the circuit. If a ground fault or leak is detected, the GFCI switches off the current and protects you from dangerous shock. An Assured Equipment Grounding Conductor Program, also known as an AEGCP, can be used in place of GFCIs. The program involves a competent person maintaining written records and engaged in testing and visual inspection of tools. Let's talk about safe work practices and environment. Most electric accidents are preventable through safe work practices. Never make an electrical repair yourself. Leave it to a qualified and trained electrician. Always de-energize electrical equipment before inspection or maintenance. Never remove a ground prong from an extension cord or tool. Do not attempt to operate electric power tools in rainy, wet, or damp spaces. Store all electrical equipment and tools in a dry place. Always wear the necessary personal protective equipment. Now, electricity is powerful, but it is no match for workers empowered with knowledge and safety training. As a final safety reminder, when a GFCI trips, don't think of it as an inconvenience. Consider yourself fortunate that protective measures are in place 
to avoid serious injury or fatal shock. Guys, be aware of electricity on the job site. Take the proper uh, precautions. Make sure you use a GFCI whenever you've got a, uh, a power tool plugged in. Uh, check the notes down below if you need the notes on this. And if you use it for a safety class or safety training, make sure you document the training with a sign in sheet referencing this video. Make sure you also give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this nature. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this type along with other safety related videos and leadership training videos. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and ensure their safety and I will see you in the field. Thank you.